Hello, Dazzle. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm glad that you were here. Today, I'm going to be doing a game review of Primp. First, I wanted to let you know a few things. I was given a copy of the game, and at the time of writing this, I have done a single playthrough, which took me about eight hours to get through the game. Prem boasts a distinctive visual style reminiscent of Tim Burton's surreal gothic charm, drawing players into a world that feels both eerie and enchanting. The game's hand-drawn monochromatic art captures an intricate blend of delicate lines and shadowy textures, emphasizing the haunting beauty of each scene. Characters and environments are designed with exaggerated proportions and whimsical details, from elongated limbs to peculiar facial expressions, adding to the game's darkly playful tone. The black and white palette punctuated with subtle hints of color creates a stark contrast that heightens the mood, making Prim feel like a living, breathing storybook from a delightfully twisted fairy tale. While most characters are meticulously crafted with intricate details that bring the dark fairy tale world to life, the fates stand out for a different reason. Unlike the richly textured protagonists and settings, the fates appear simpler with noticeable fewer details, giving them an almost unfinished look. This contrast can make them feel oddly out of place, as though they belong to a different world or artistic style altogether. The choice could suggest a thematic detachment, but it also risks disrupting the otherwise immersive visual cohesion of the game. The music, sound effects, and voice acting each play a vital role in bringing its darkly enchanting world to life. The soundtrack leaves an eerie atmospheric ambience that perfectly complements the game's gothic aesthetic, with haunting melodies that shift from somber to whimsical as Prim explores the realms of the living and the dead. Sound effects are thoughtfully placed, adding texture to the environment and enhancing the darkly whimsical humor. Yes! The voice acting too is a highlight as each character's voice adds depth to their unique personality. Prim's voice captures her innocence and curiosity Okay, Isaac, I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through the crack and bring me the key to my door? Oh, good. You're so cute. Good luck. While other voices bring a mix of charm, menace, and eccentricity that enriches the narrative, together the audio elements create a soundscape as immersive and thoughtfully crafted as the game's visual design. The game tells the story of a young girl named Prim, the daughter of death, who finds herself being brought into the land of the dead and facing the loss of everything that mattered to her. She is irresistibly drawn back to the world of the living, driven by her connection to a boy that she's been friends with. Prim embarks on a journey that challenges everything that she thought she knew about life, death, and her destiny. As she explores this supernatural realm, she encounters a variety of quirky characters and confronts puzzles that reveal deeper mysteries about her father's role as the Grim Reaper. The story explores several profound themes that give depth to its dark, whimsical story. One of the central themes is the quest for identity. As Prim embarks on a journey of self-discovery and seeks to understand her place between life and death, Another key theme is the nature of fate versus free will. Prim's journey raises questions about destiny and whether one can choose a different path from the one seemingly laid out before them. The game also delves into the mystery of life and mortality, presenting life and death not as opposites, but as interconnected forces. Themes of family and legacy are also woven throughout as Prim's relationship with her father reveals the bond and tensions that come from inheriting his world and responsibilities. Together, these themes create a narrative that is rich with meaning, balancing existential reflections with the charm and wonder of a fairy tale. The most compelling character is arguably Prim herself. 
As the daughter of death, she brings a unique perspective to the story, balancing innocence with a deep existential curiosity about life and mortality. Her journey through the underworld isn't just a physical adventure, but a personal quest to understand her own identity and purpose, which makes her relatable and deeply engaging. Prim's personality is marked by a charming blend of wit, courage and vulnerability, allowing her to navigate complex themes while retaining a sense of wonder and empathy. Her interactions with other characters reveal her growth and moral depth, making her a layered protagonist who resonates emotionally with players. Her internal struggles and moments of self-discovery make her journey feel universal, grounding the game's supernatural elements in real human experience. The world of Prim is a spellbinding blend of the eerie and whimsical set mostly within the realm of the dead. The setting is richly atmospheric with strange architecture and surreal details that enhance what its nice fairy tale voice. ambiance. Dark forests, peculiar cemeteries, and quaint houses evoke a timeless feel, creating an immersive backdrop where mystery and magic seem to linger around every corner. Every location is intricately designed to reinforce the theme of exploration between life and death, capturing the bittersweet beauty of a world that is as haunting as it is enchanting. The challenge in Prim lies in its intricate puzzles, which often require creative thinking, and exploration across different areas. These puzzles are cleverly layered with solutions that involve transporting items or information from one location to another, adding a satisfying level of complexity. I found the puzzles to be difficult, but the game provides support in the form of a built-in hint system. This feature offers guidance if you're stuck on a specific step, helping you progress without fully giving away the solution. Additionally, there's a journal that records your objectives, which is especially useful for keeping track of tasks if the game isn't completed in a single sitting. Altogether, these tools balance the game's challenging puzzles with just enough assistance to keep frustration at bay, making Prim a rewarding experience for players who enjoy intricate problem solving. The user interface is designed to be generally user-friendly and uncluttered, allowing players to immerse themselves in the beautiful artwork without distractions. Navigation is primarily achieved through mouse clicks, typical of point-and-click adventure games, but some elements can feel a bit cumbersome. For instance, hints can be accessed by holding the space button and the inventory is managed with the I key, which might disrupt the seamless experience that a full mouse interface could provide. Additionally, there are moments when players may wish to zoom in on images to inspect details, particularly when searching for cards, but this feature isn't available. A potential improvement could be the inclusion of an icon that appears when the mouse is hovering over the bottom of the screen, allowing players to access these kinds of functionality more intuitively without losing that ability to be immersed into the artwork. But despite these minor issues, the interface supports the game's atmosphere, providing a clean layout that enhances the overall experience. Humor serves as a delightful novelty feature in Prim, infusing the game with a lightheartedness that balances its darker themes. The witty dialogue and quirky character interactions often elicit laughs, providing comedic relief amidst the game's more somber moments. I hope I know what I'm doing here. This humor is cleverly integrated into the narrative and puzzles. Oh, dirty shit. With playful wordplay, absurd situations, and charmingly eccentric characters that keep players engaged and entertained. The junk's position of whimsical comedy against a backdrop of existential exploration enhances the overall experience, making the journey feel both enjoyable and meaningful. By embracing humor, Prim invites players to appreciate the absurdity of life and death while navigating its beautifully crafted world, creating a unique blend of laughter and introspection. The replay value of Prim primarily stems from its engaging story and witty humor, which invite players to revisit the whimsical yet dark world crafted by the developers. For those who enjoy achievements, the game includes various accomplishments that can motivate players to explore different aspects of the narrative 
narrative. However, since much of the gameplay revolves around solving intricate puzzles, the overall replay value may be limited. Once the puzzles have been solved and the story experienced, players may find less incentive to return as the core challenges remain unchanged. While the humor and narrative can draw players back for a second look, the focus on problem solving means that the experience is likely to feel more linear upon replay, potentially diminishing the excitement that comes with that first discovery. The emotional impact of Prim is intriguing, as it doesn't delve as deeply into somber themes as one might expect from a game centered on death and mortality. The developer's choice to embrace humor often lightens the narrative, pulling focus away from a more profound emotional exploration that the story could have elicited. However, this approach isn't necessarily a drawback. It allows players to engage with weighty subjects without becoming emotionally bogged down. Instead of sinking into despair, I found myself smiling and laughing while reflecting on themes of death, identity, and existence. This balance of levity and introspection creates a unique experience, making it possible to ponder significant topics in a manner that feels accessible and enjoyable, rather than overwhelmingly heavy. In conclusion, Prim offers a captivating blend of whimsical storytelling, intricate puzzles, and charming humor that sets it apart in the indie game landscape. While it might not deliver the emotional depth that some players might expect, its lighthearted approach allows for thoughtful engagement with profound themes without overwhelming the player. The unique art style, layered gameplay, and witty dialogue contribute to an enchanting experience that keeps players entertained while exploring weighty topics. Overall, Prim is a delightful journey worth taking, and I wholeheartedly recommend giving it a try for those seeking a fresh, an enjoyable adventure in the world of gaming. Well, that's about it for my rambling today. Thanks for coming and spending some time with me. If you like my ramblings, then click on that like button. It really does help. And until we talk again, you guys be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye.